Your specialty yeah. is cooking with insects, correct? Correct, yes. Why? Well, you know, it, it was really interesting because the UN endorses edible insects uh -huh. to address the issue of food scarcity and sustainability. Oh. How are we going to feed the world's population in 2050? Wow. And so with that motivation, plus the fact that there are over 1,900 different types of edible insects, as a chef, that really sparks my creative side, right. all the different flavors. Uh, you know, so it's for all these reasons that, that it really excites me to, uh, to cook with the edible insects. Wow. So cool. So we're going to run out of food? No. <laughs> we're going well, to have to eat bugs? No, well, you know, the thing is that <laughs> it's the idea of like, oh, let's save the world by eating bugs. That, uh -huh. That's a little like off-putting to think that. Well, you that can eliminate you're me right that. out of the <laughs> I mean, Kelly's going down with the ship. Yeah. But, but you know, the fact that it is nutritious, that uh -huh. it is sustainable, and that it takes far less resources like water, and land space to grow this right. as a food source. Okay. For example, with crickets, super high in protein. Oh. Ground crickets almost have twice the amount of protein per pound compared to beef, for example. Uh -huh. And uh, you know they're high in minerals, and it's such an expansive like taste they are. profile. I can feel, I like, can feel the protein surging through my body. Oh right yeah. <laughs> Kelly, would you like some protein? Would you like to try some protein? Well, maybe you like to well, try it. I don't it. want to eat food if it's looking at me. Well, maybe you like to try it in a dish so in you don't have yeah, to just, okay. just try it just like, by um, itself. Merge the two it. together, right, right. But we have uh, some chapalinas, which are grasshoppers, and some guacamole. And it's like kind of a traditional sort of uh, way to serve to serve uh, grasshoppers. I got to tell you something really funny right now, actually. Okay. You yeah, have there. two of our least favorite things, but separate. Whereas she is terrified of bugs and I'm terrified, terrified. of avocados. Oh, no. So, no joke. I'll see you So that. what we're going to do, no, what we're gonna do is I'm going to take this us, chip um, and I'm just going to take this little guy off here and Kelly's going to eat oh, that right there. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh and there gosh, you go. Wow. Cheers, Kelly. I love Compromise. Teamwork. That's how it works. Teamwork. Yeah. Mm. And that's how it works. Mm. What am I, what was that? So that's a, a grasshopper. Oh. And, uh. Grassy. So, and, and you know, it's like seasoned with oh, gosh, a, a little. Oh, gosh, wait. Hey, makes you, uh, I love it. Wow. This, no, this is like the best ever. Like, I, I'm i going to have this on repeat forever in my memory now. And, Sorry, uh, I had to. I could have, I could have helped. That? What is hiding in this? So, like, in this one here, for example, we have some delicious Maybe you should, shouldn't tell me. Uh, buttermilk biscuits. Oh, cool. Just buttermilk yeah, biscuits? Yeah, and, it, and, nope. and it has... Don't, is it alive in there? <laughs> no, not that it's alive. It's just like ground up, and so you get like the nuttiness, Ooh, and the yeah. nutrition, the extra protein and stuff with these like That's... biscuits, and it has ground cricket powder in it as well. Mm. Yum. <laughs> We're sorry, Jiminy. <laughs> these are good. They're good. <laughs> take a bite. Come on, take no, a bite. Take a bite. Right? Drive it home, gal. Don't look inside. Okay, I just have to make sure. When you look inside, it's always, very good. Always check your biscuit. <laughs> yeah, right. You never know. Okay, I can, I can do this. Right, yeah. and so what do, what do we have here? Um, these are Vespula flaviceps. They're wasps. Right. And I don't know if you guys know, but there is a wasp in each fig. I was about to ask you that is true? So a fig is an inverted flower, and a female wasp goes in there, but you're not eating a dead wasp. The phycin, the protein in the fig, breaks down the wasp, so you're not actually eating it. But there is one that has to enter and uh, lay eggs, lay eggs, and <laughs> die actually in order for it to form into this fig. So in a sense, a lot of the food products that we're eating already incorporates them, but we don't know it. And like what I'm trying to do with this is like a little play on the fact that there are wasps in figs. You know how like. Sometimes you get dessert with figs and gorgonzola, uh -huh. little honey. So that's what I did right here. It's like a little fig, a little oh, honey, yeah. gorgonzola, and some wasps. And a wasp. Some wasps, yeah. Uh, like which, wasp but if I'm allergic uh, to these things, and it, can I eat a wasp? Is that possible? Well, so the venom is denatured okay. in these wasps when they're when they're prepared. And so may I, uh, may I pass oh. this to you? Oh, maybe oh, uh, thank you, pass this thank you sir. This might be a little oh. tricky to. Me, um, <laughs> there's a bee okay. in my fig. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> So, this will bug you out. No, no pun intended. Nice. Um, or intended. 80% of the world's nations 
eats edible insects. On purpose? On purpose. Right. It's a part of their right. nutrition. And so that's what we're trying to do is like introduce it so people are at least open, open. to start incorporating it into their biscuits for a little or like make a protein shake. Or if you're watching Netflix, yeah. just pop a couple superworms in your mouth yeah. and you can, it's like popcorn, right? Those superworms, it's so crazy what they could taste like. It actually tastes like cheese. Worms don't bother, like I like to fish and they I bake my own hook, but don't. I don't eat them. Let's, let's try if they, they taste like cheese, you said? Yes. See, the thing is, the worm thing doesn't bother me so bad as if it's got more than four legs. Well, these have a lot of, oh, these Then are, that's yeah. what. No legs, actually. No legs. No legs. And could I real briefly just share with you this this last uh, dish as oh, yes. well while I'll, we uh, I'd love to see it. So these <laughs> are black ant yeast donuts. They're black ant and they're creme brulee, so Ooh. they're glazed and they have a custard inside, a uh -huh. vanilla cream with black ants in the middle. And ants have a lemony taste to it, so that's okay. why we thought this would work beautifully in this dish. It's like a well. bear grills, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, adventurous. Fun and nutritious. I mean, it's, oh, like, yeah. it's like a win-win-win on so many totally. levels. Well, thank you, Chef Joseph. Thank you appreciate you. that. Thank Very enlightening you. stuff. Thank you.